All right, so we're gonna do an apple spice cake with rum for Stephanie Gordon. Let's get you going on this. So we get the uh, apple spice mix. I took a little bit out and put in a bowl aside. Uh, put two eggs into here. We're gonna crack those eggs in there and mix it up. We're gonna add some uh, walnuts, crushed walnuts. I'm gonna take it a step further. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grate some apple for our, uh, with a food cutter here. And uh, I'm gonna take this apple and put it in the cake mix. Now you have to compensate that moisture for the amount of moisture you would add in. I'm using the apple juice again. So a bit of apple juice, we've got the eggs, there's uh, one apple inside here which adds a lot of moisture. We're gonna mix it up to nice and thick. We're gonna put the stove on to a low heat. I'm gonna put in there a, uh, it's probably about two stick and a half of butter. Uh, slice the apples nice and, not too thin, nice and, nice and thick. We're gonna slice all those apples up. I'm using Ambrosia apples, there's three of them, they're quite big. And I took one apple which I put inside the, uh, the cake mix. So I put a bit of uh, cinnamon over the apples. Then uh, I'm putting in about a cup and a half of brown sugar. Getting a little extra butter and sugar than the last time I did this, just to make more of a caramel. So then uh, that's melted on a low heat, low heat on the stove. See the consistency is nice and thick. What we're gonna do is add some, uh, some nuts to that. So we're gonna put in some of those walnuts and then start placing the apples in. Still look at it on the lowest heat. Nothing's cooking or bubbling or nothing's happening yet. Right? Just melting. So now I put the apples in and so put them all uh, decoratively around. Now the last bits of the apple which are rounded, I uh, put those in the middle. Press it down a little bit so it's nice and firm and a bit tight. Now I'm gonna turn it up to a medium heat. Now when I add the medium heat, the sugars start to caramelize. I put a bit of uh, get some Jamaican rum. So I'm gonna put about uh, two ounces, two and a half ounces. Well, I'll just make sure it's not poisonous. Yeah, that's, yeah I think that's fine. And then uh, bubbling away, we add the uh, rum and let's give it a flambe. Now, when you add the liquid to caramelize sugar, it's become quite runny. So if you're caramelizing the sugar and you see that it's crystallizing, and you haven't put any liquid in, because I know you'd mentioned you didn't want to use any booze. If it's starting to crystallize, put a bit of liquid in, maybe a bit of apple juice or water even. And that way it'll break down the uh, caramelizing sugar. So you see I'm on a medium heat, quite hot and bubbling away. Um, I'm gonna put the lid on here. We're gonna cook this for about uh, 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, it's not set. It's still kind of wobbly inside. But what we're gonna do is put the uh, lid back on, turn the stove off, and we're gonna let it sit there for another 15 minutes. If you wanna let it sit a little longer, it's not, not gonna hurt, right? So now we run a knife around the outside of the cake. Um, we're gonna give it a flip. One, two, three, and let's go. There we go. All right. So we're going to flip that right over and slowly pull it out. You can kind of feel the uh, whole apple cake kind of plonk out a little bit. So it's going to fall right out of there. We got a uh, nice uh, upside down apple spice cake with rum. Inside the pan, we have some caramelized sugar on the bottom and some nuts. And what I'm going to do with that is add some cream. Uh, I'm actually using a bit of Nutri Whip. I'm going to put that right in there. We're going to put on a medium heat, bring it to a boil, and keep stirring it. Uh, if it's too thick, add some more cream. If it's too runny, just let it cook. It'll thicken up. So we uh, slice the apple cake. still nice and warm inside and slices all the way through those, right through the apples. Nice sharp knife always does the trick. And we have a caramel sauce. We're going to put right over the, uh, the apple cake. And it is extremely sweet, so a little bit of cream always helps cut it. And all that's right, for so you. Upside down apple spice cake for Stephanie Gordon. Made it again. It is yummy, yummy. We've got to get you going right on this. It's excellent. Mmm. Right, we better check with the junior sous well. chef. Junior stacker. What do you think about that? Does that pass? This is delicious. Alright, that's where we like to do it at dinner for two.